good morning students so in this class we are going to discuss about what are the differences between centripetal force and centrifugal force a force acting towards the center that is centripetal then a force acting away from the center that is centrifugal force so it's a real force so it arises from the gravitational force then it's also from the tension the string then the normal force but centrifugal force is a pseudo force it's not a real force so it cannot arise from it's similar to that gravitational force normal force then it acts both in inertial frame and non inertial frame but centrifugal force acts only in rotating frame that is non inertial frame then centripetal force acts towards the axis of rotation that is center of the circle that is center of the circular motion here it acts outwards that is away from the center of circle in the circular motion then the magnitude of centripetal force that is m omega square r that is equal to m v squared by r here the magnitude of centrifugal force is same so here this is plus if it is magnitude is not considered this is plus centrifugal force is plus centripetal force is minus so that is towards the center that is minus m omega squared r so this one plus m omega squared r if it is magnitude wise both are same so both are equal and opposite then it's a real force it have a real effects it's a pseudo force but it have a real effects then the origin so the origin is interaction between the two objects so centripetal force in terms of so it is provided from the frictional force so the frictional force is from the tire and the surface of the road so it provides a centripetal force so there should be interaction between the two objects but doesn't arise from the interaction so the origin is from inertia then in inertial frame in a free body diagram the centripetal force is included in inertial frame there is no centrifugal force but in rotating frame that is non inertial frame both centripetal force and centrifugal force are included in the while drawing the free body diagram so in this class we have discussed centripetal force and centrifugal force so what are the differences so okay students we have completed the lesson number 3 so in the next class we will discuss lesson number 4 okay students